So we're going to quickly run through how to make a GIF in Photoshop. The first thing we're going to do when we open Photoshop, just click the arrow up the top on the right hand side and select the motion layout. And what this will do is it will open up our animation timeline down the bottom here which we're going to use later. So if we just open up our file, so I took some shots in the high quality burst mode on the SX40 of an otter and I'm going to show you how to put these into a sequence. If you just look at the pictures quickly now, you can see it just sort of goes step by step like an action. So we're going to put that into a GIF so that we can play them back all in one go. So we're just going to drag the first one in the series into Photoshop and it'll open it up like a normal picture. And then clicking the next one in line and selecting Shift, we'll click the last one, select them all and drag them in on top of that picture and Photoshop will then import them into new layers as you can see here and all we've got to do is click the tick at the top to say yes import it so we import that import it and it's going to do it for every single layer so we'll have to do that eight times because there's eight pictures but at least we don't have to do it manually ourselves Photoshop's putting it all into layers for us so once they're all in we're going to have to resize it. GIFs aren't really ideal for bigger pictures. They're, they're meant to be smaller. They're like moving icons, really. So if we just select all our layers, just go to Image, Image Size. At the moment, it's 4,000 pixels by 3,000, which is pretty huge. I'm going to change that to 500 pixels, and that automatically puts the height at 375 pixels. So that's our new size. So I'm just going to click OK. It will look like it shrinks a lot, but it won't really. Once we zoom in, you'll see we've still got a fair bit of detail in our image. And as I say, it's only going to play small, so you don't really need it to be that big anyway. So in our timeline down the bottom, you'll see we've got our first frame with our otter in here. Now, as we imported the pictures the right way around, they're actually coming backwards, and it went one by one. So actually, the last layer, which is the top layer, so the visible one, is the last movement in our action. So we're just going to hide these layers one by one so that the bottom layer, which is the first bit of our action, is the only one that's visible. And now our thumbnail will be that visible layer. We're going to click this icon, which looks like the new layer icon. It's actually going to duplicate that frame. So now our second frame is the same as the first. But what we're going to do is reveal that second layer so now the second frame is the next action along. If we click between frame 1 and 2, frame 1 is the first action and you'll see that the second layer is hidden. If we click on frame 2, it's the next action in line, which you'll see it's now visible. So we're going to repeat that process, clicking to duplicate the frame and then just making the next one visible and that will change the frame. So we'll do that eight times, so we've got each of our motions in a frame and if we just hit the play button you'll see they're playing back and they're playing back pretty fast that's a pretty fast action so I don't really want them to go that fast I'm going to select the last frame hit shift and select the first frame and click where it says zero seconds you can do it on any of the frames and I'm going to change it to 0 0.2 seconds and that is changing the delay between each frame so that each picture lasts a little bit longer if we now play it back you'll see that it does play jittery. I don't have enough pictures for that to be a smooth movement, but it's, it's slow enough for us to see each frame and to appreciate each picture. So now we've got our animation and our timing right. We're going to go to File, Save for Web and Devices, because that's basically where we're going to play a GIF. And you'll see that the color quality is going to go down. You'll see you get sort of patches of colour where it's um, it's got a limited palette, but that's the way a GIF will look, so there's nothing wrong with that. At the top you'll see it says GIF, and if you wanted to change the image size you could do it here, but it's easier to do it beforehand because everything plays back a lot smoother. Down here, whether it loops forever or loops once, so it only plays through once, um, I usually have it looping forever, but it's up to you. So I'm just going to save just call it Otter, and that will save that GIF. Okay, thanks, and I hope that helps.